Hi everybody. In this video, we are going to integrate cosine 4 of 2x. For this integration, the major key you need to know is double angle identity. Let's begin. Our plan is to break cosine 4 into cosine squared form to be able to utilize double angle identity. So, cosine squared of 2x, the quantity squared will be equal to cosine fourth. Now we can substitute cosine squared with double angle identity. What is double angle identity? Cosine squared of x equals to one half times one plus cosine of whatever the angle is here is going to be doubling. So our cosine squared of two x will turn into one half times 1 plus cosine of 4x. We are going to make this angle double. And we have squared sine here, dx. Now we are going to square each term one by one. One half squared is one fourth, and we can pull it in front of the integral sign. 1 plus cosine of 4x squared. You can either foil it 1 plus cosine of 4x times 1 plus cosine of 4x or you can apply sum of binomial squares which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Here our a term is 1 and our b term is cosine of 4x. So a term squared is 1 squared which is 1 plus a times b is cosine of 4x times 2 is 2 cosine of 4x plus b term squared is cosine 4 of x squared, which is cosine squared of 4x dx. Now we're going to apply double angle identity one more time for this piece. So we're going to integrate this cosine 4 of x by breaking into the smallest pieces. So 1 fourth in front, integral, 1 plus 2 cosine of 4x and our cosine squared of 4x turns into 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 8x. Again, we are doubling this angle according to double angle identity. And we have the x here. Now we are going to distribute 1 half into parentheses. So we have 1 fourth 1 plus 2 cosine of 4x plus 1 half times 1 is 1 half 1 half times cosine of 8x is 1 half cosine of 8x now we're going to combine the like terms 1 and 1 half is here the like terms so 1 fourth in front integral 1 plus 1 half is 3 over 2 plus 2 cosine 4x plus 1 half cosine of 8x. Now we can separate the integrals and then integrate each piece one by one. So we have 1, four, one over 4 in front integral of 3 over 2 dx plus 2 cosine 4x we can pull 2 in front cosine of 4x dx plus and we can pull 1 half in front of the integral sign cosine of 8x dx now we can integrate each integrals. We have 1, 4 in front. So what is the antiderivative of 3 over 2 with respect to x? It's going to be 3 over 2x. This is a constant and antiderivative of constant is cx. Let's say it is 2, then it becomes 2x. Plus, we have 2 in front. Here we can apply u substitution, 
to cosine of 4x. Let u be 4x, then du will be 4dx, and if you solve for dx, divide both sides by 4, so dx will be equal to 1 fourth du. And if you rewrite, then it's going to be antiderivative of cosine is sine, sine of 4x, and instead of dx, we're going to write 1 fourth du. And 1 fourth times 2 is 1 half sine of 4x plus c is the antiderivative of this. You can do little u substitutions here, or you can do it by heart. Antiderivative of trigonometric functions are, if you go to counterclockwise, you get the antiderivative. If you go to clockwise, you get the derivatives of each trigonometric functions. This is cosine at the positive x direction. Negative x direction is negative cosine. Positive y direction is positive sine. And negative y direction is negative sine. So you can do it by heart like this. 2 times antiderivative of cosine is sine. Angle does not change and 4x turns into 1 fourth because it's going to be the correction factor or dx will be sold as 1 fourth du. Again, you can do u substitution here step by step and then bring it here back or you can do it by heart. Here again, we are integrating cosine, 1 half is in front, antiderivative of cosine is sine, angle 8x does not change, and inside function is 1 eighth. Again, if you do u substitution, you're going to get 1 eighth, and plus c. Now we're going to clean up. We have 1 fourth in front, 3 over 2x here, 1 fourth times 2 is 1 half sine of 4x plus 1 half times 1 eighth is 1 sixteenth sine of 8x plus c. Now we're going to distribute 1 fourth to each term. 1 fourth times 3 over 2 is 3 over 8x plus 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eight sine of 4x plus 1 fourth times 1 sixteenth is 1 over 64 sine of 8x plus c. This is your final answer. You can leave it here. Let's box it. Or you can go ahead and make it more compact by using the least common denominator. So you can expand this fraction by 8, you can expand this fraction by 8, and you can expand this by 1. So it turns into 8 times 3 is 24x, plus 8 times 1 is 8, sine of 4x, and 1 times sine 8x is sine 8x, and the common denominator for all of them will be 64 and plus C. This is your final answer in more compact form. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.